Hi guys, PatDune1979 here. I'm gonna run to you today uh, another review. It's gonna be about lock picking. This is um, gonna be a small review on uh, something I purchased recently, which is a lock pick gun, which is my first one. And this is lock pick gun you can get from a website called Fast Tech. They mostly sell uh, well gadgets, stuff, small electronics, and uh, you know lock picks and uh, electronic cigarette mostly and a couple of stuff but this is uh, the website which I found the most inexpensive uh, lock pick gun and this one is a snap gun this is your basic model this cost me about fifteen dollars so fifteen dollars couple of cents US and uh, this is the cheapest one on the market and is it any good well you can you know open locks with it so depends on the definition of good there's a couple things I like about it there's a couple things I don't like about it it comes with four four needles one in the uh, gun as you can see a small tension wrench which is you know really basic it's just a uh, round you know frame and uh, just a two flattened out part right here for the for the wrench but this is your basic model and um, it is able to open locks I did I was able to open my front door with it uh, twice in like five minutes so that's pretty good so trying to pick I did open my front door uh, my deadbolt with uh, my lock picks and took some, took me a little while you know and I was able to do it maybe twice three times uh, with my uh, Sparrow kickstart uh, lock pick set but uh, as you can see, you can open up uh, locks pretty easily with that uh, that snap gun. Depending on the locks, some locks won't respond good to uh, to a snap gun. Others are gonna others are gonna go right away like that. But if you guys, <laughs> if I use my uh, lock pick set and I just take any picks, you know, I'll take my snake rake here and just a tension tool. And if you guys, th this lock is a little bit easy, so, so it's kind of cheating using that lock. But I want, I wanted to see for demonstration purposes. So I just put my wrench in there and just wiggle it, and boom, here we go. It opens. So is it faster with a lock pick gun? Eh, not for that one, that's for sure. But um, this lock pick gun, um, I when I got it, you know. Actually, it still works. I can't say it's working any less, but some of the thing I noticed is the uh, wheel right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's more on one side than the other, and uh, it's not really uh, aligned properly, and it's hard to turn. And the, when you turn it, you don't notice much of a difference in the uh, just a little bit on the uh, snap, snapping pressure, snapping motion. I don't know if I can do this for you guys, but you know it it does provide a nice amount of uh, snap for the needle, but uh, you know it's not as much as probably something a little bit more quality. It's gonna do the job, but uh, for what it's gonna be like, if you if you just want to try out a lockpick gun. This might be a good choice, you know, it's $15, you don't waste a lot of money, free shipping, $15 free shipping, that, that's that's cheap, you know. But uh, some of the things I've noticed that I don't like about it is, look at all those screws in here. Look at that, you got two screws on each side, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and you got one more right here to hold uh, the pencil, thirteen screw totals. So these screws they get loose a lot after maybe look I can yeah, there's one who's loose already so uh, <laughs> I've tightened them up uh, before uh, doing uh, this video so they will all tighten up so I know what you guys are gonna say Loctite yeah I did use some gun tight on Uncle Mike's Loctite on it and for the needle right here it did wonders you know the needle wasn't getting loose for for a good while but um, 
the screws on the body itself so right here on top and maybe uh, that one here and that one here they got loose a lot like a lot you know so uh, that's one of the things you need a screwdriver or a multi-tool with you just to, to retighten those screws once you're done uh, you're done picking but I was able to open a couple of locks you know really quickly with that so uh, some uh, some dead bolts and a couple of stuff depending on the locks itself my locks I was able to open it twice in uh, five minutes and after that though I could still go and click 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 maybe you know I wasn't getting the angle right like I, I did the, the first time but or maybe just, just spring tension got loose a little bit and it wasn't as much as spring anymore and you, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell but there's a little uh, metal part right here this is just so you know a bent metal part so it prevents the needle from rattling too much and uh, that part just flew away a couple times and uh, sometime close to my face so uh, what I did is was just when when it was off I just took some pliers just bend that little part that was right here hold, going underneath and just holding that in place I think that there were some screws at uh, I don't know if you guys can tell that it seems like there's two opening for some screws but I didn't see any um, any holes in the body itself where you can uh, screw that in so and if there were some screws in there well I didn't see them fly off when they, this thing uh, start fly off so but you know for a pig gun for a $15 pig, pig gun I was able to open a few locks with it uh, sometimes simpler than uh, with my lock picks and I mean this is this is a tool that you can add to your toolbox like any other tools but this is something that probably stay in my car and you know I got winter and I got stuff in I would just leave that in my car and just as a backup you know as as something like my lock picks I, I leave that in my car so just in case you know I get locked out of my home uh, my house or whatever you know I just take my uh, lock picks and <laughs> yeah I can go to work or depending on if I forgot my keys for work or whatever you know I can pick the door and just get in and that's it so but uh, overall uh, you know for the price you know I would give it a score of maybe 5 out of 10 it's not the best and those screws are annoying as hell to just get loose all the time and sometimes you're gonna click 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 and if you don't wash those screws this one's gonna fly off so uh, depending on where you are good luck at trying to find it after after that so so uh, if you're looking for something a little bit more serious and and this is a tool it's not gonna open up all the locks you know this is something that it's gonna be just another tool just something else that this is something I've when I, I try to open up a lock this is the first thing I go to well since I got it you know this is the first thing I try if that doesn't work with that then I go with my lock picks and try to pick the lock pin by pin or just rake it or you know whatever so but overall uh, this is eh, like I said five out of ten it's not the best out there there's a couple of defects on it there's a couple of things that that's annoying uh, one of the good thing is it comes with four picks like I said and a tension wrench so that's good for that it is able to open up a few locks without too much trouble if you're not an expert at lock picking and you just want something to that's not too hard you still need to learn a little bit about the tension for the from the tension wrench but you know overall not a bad product but you know I'm probably gonna if I wanna get something a little bit more quality I think I'm, I might go with a salt hoard or uh, something a little bit more quality than uh, that gun for uh, some serious lock picking so this is something you know if you're really into the hobby and you just like to open up a bunch of locks and a bunch of uh, uh, doorknobs or whatever you know you might want to go with something a little bit more quality than just your basic uh, $15 pig gun if you just want to try it well for $15 like I said I give it a 5 out of 10 so it works it open up some locks and if you just want to try it out and just have fun with it and maybe keep it as a backup you know if you 
if your main pick gun is uh, is defective, well, go for it. I might try to uh, take some crazy glue and just crazy glue those screws in place to see if that's gonna work or not, but you know, we'll see about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, see you on the next one. Later.